Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about using the X Quartz uh, X window system on Mac OS X. And this is an X window system for Mac. So if you're, well, I'll just get into this. So I've, um, what you want to do is you want to download and install this. It's pretty standard install. And then you'll get the uh, X Quartz application. So I'll open that up. Oops, let me back there. And if we go up here to applications, we can open up a terminal. And you can open up terminal on Mac, but this is a little bit different. So what I have on the other end here is I have a Linux system. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to SSH into the Linux system and I'll open up the graphical software on the Linux machine on my Mac. So I'll type SSH space dash Y. And what that does is that says pass the display through to the Mac. And then I'll type the IP address, oh, I'll type uh, my name at, and then the IP address of my server. I'll hit enter, I'll type my password in. And now we're logged into the remote machine. And this machine is a, uh, an Intel NUC with Ubuntu desktop on it. So this is uh, just a regular PC, desktop PC for the most part. And uh, I'm logged in just like you would SSH into any uh, you know, remote Linux machine. What I can do now though, is I can open up things like X clock. So I'll type X clock here, if I can spell right. And I'll hit enter, and we've opened up a graphical application on our Mac. So we have X clock here, and we can modify it. I can close this, and then we can run it again. I think I can type digital here maybe. Yeah, and there we have a digital version of X clock there. There's different options. We can do like X calc. And here we have a calculator. So yeah, obviously you're not gonna set all this up so you can use a calculator or see a clock. Um, there are some reasons you might want to do this. You might have some kind of management tool on the Linux machine and you want to have the graphical interface local. And you can do that with like VNC or a screen viewer. But if you have a headless server, you can't, um, that you know, will get tricky maybe to use VNC where this would work. So one thing you can do here is you can open up something like Firefox. So I'll hit enter here. And we have Firefox on the machine. So now if we wanted to, we could open up a site that's local. So here you can see this um, just loaded. Um, you could open up something that's local to the uh, Linux machine. So say you have some kind of web admin utility and you only had access to that from the desktop of the Linux machine. So you could use a screen viewer like VNC or you could use this. Now this isn't super fast. Um, you can see here I have my website open. If I am scrolling down a little bit, it's kind of slow. My scroll wheel does work. Okay. And, oh, see, I just missed it. So it's a little bit laggy. I'm on a Wi-Fi network, um, but this is all in my house. You can do this over the internet too. And I can play this video and you can kind of see the clock tick down here once it starts up. And there's no audio either, by the way. So this isn't practical, I'm just doing this for demonstration. Um, that, you know, it's not real practical to watch video, but you certainly can open up a website. So, that'll eventually play, but I don't really want to wait around for it. So, um, it's kind of froze up a little bit. Actually, I can just close it. It's taken a while to close, so I can actually go here and I can just hit Control C, and that'll close it. So let's get back in there. Let's. I think we can um, open up something like Wikipedia. Let's just open up Google here. So there we're open up Google, and we can type in Wikipedia. So the performance isn't terrible, like if you had um, some kind of an admin interface, um, say like uh, MySQL admin or um, you know some other server admin, you could load this up pretty easily here and use the web interface because this website is, this is a web browser is actually on the remote machine, it's just displaying it on my machine, so it's local here. Um, if I had a web server running on there and I typed localhost in here, it would show the web server on the Linux machine. So, 
And other things you can do, uh, say you wanted to edit the FS tab, you can type sudo space gedit space forward slash etc forward slash FS tab with we'll type our password in there for sudo. Uh, we'll type the correct password. <laughs> there we go. And here we have a graphical uh, interface where we can edit the uh, FS tab file. And we could make changes to that, save it, and close it. And you know, you can do that graphically. Obviously, if you're on a terminal, you would probably just type sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash FS tab and just do it that way. But um, that's just an option. So um, there's lots of different reasons you may want to do this. It may not be very useful. It's hard to say. Um, I've used this before when I've been uh, configuring a Myth TV server uh, because it has a graphical interface. So uh, I could have a headless server and I can still get in there and do all the config using an X server. But um, this is just a quick demonstration. If you do have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.